the insides of that thing is basically this thing. I built this sequencer testing thing uh, so that I can just plug it into the pitch resistor of any random toy and uh, and find out what it sounds like sequenced. So I hook this up and you'll see that it's counting. Um, and all it is is this 555 right here, this chip is sending its voltage here um, to advance this 4017 to the next step. So if I unplug the 555, you'll see it'll stick itself on one step. You can basically do the same thing just by taking the input for the 4017, connecting it to positive voltage. That is positive. Yes. Like connecting it, connecting it over and over and over again. Exactly. It'll advance, so that little pulse electricity goes to 4017 and advances it a step. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's plus or minus uh, certain Una says that it's plus or minus at least five volts. I, I get it to work on 4.5, so so screw him. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> I'm kidding, Michael Una. He's texting me. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, it it does the same thing. You just need some sort of on-off voltage. And actually, nine volts might be too much, but uh, basically, the five five five, you know, does exactly what it needs to do and uh, advances the four zero one seven. And you know, this is a whole different lecture in itself. I mean, how to build a sequencer is kind of uh, it's not a difficult thing, but you know, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so basically, in essence, it's going to each step and it's using these NPN transistors to just change which one of these potentiometers is the, uh, the resistor that changes the overall pitch of the, uh, of the instrument. And you'll notice you know, this is connected to the 555 and I can change the speed just like I did on the computer. So now it's going faster, now it's going slower. Yeah, that's about it. So, so how would you hook that up to a toy? How would I hook this up to a toy? Yeah. As soon as I go to clock testing sequencer. Right, right. Um, what I do to test this out is I... Um, all of these resistors are hooked up through... Um, basically, they're daisy chain throughout the the NPN, so they, each one of them, oh man, so, uh, I haven't done this in a long time. Okay, here, basically I have one of the, uh, one of the pitch, one of the ends of the pitch resistor, basically, of the toy would go to, um, would go to a common leg of all of the NPN transistors. So, you know, I would plug in one half of the pitch resistor right here, and then that touches the first leg of one of these NPN uh, transistors, and then it, that NPN transistor is connected to the first leg of the next NPN, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So that's one end of the pitch resistor, and then the other end of the pitch resistor is going to be uh, the other end of the pitch resistor is always going to be the uh, the one step. So basically, you have. Um, You have the control voltage changing, you know, the step on the 4017. It's lighting one of these uh, LEDs on every step. There we go. Um, and then the the voltage triggers the NPN, which makes the connection between the two legs. So you're in essence making a switch. Um, every time it gets voltage, it's gonna allow the two other legs of the transistor to make a connection. Um, so basically, 
I have the one leg, let me just figure this out. Okay, yeah, so one leg goes to the uh, one leg that the one leg that's not tethered is going to go um, to one of the ends of the pitch resistor. And then the other end, which is tethered, is going to be the end point of the pitch resistor. And then you have the other ear of the potentiometer on one, you know, all touching the same. Uh, they're all basically on the same. Uh, on the same strip, I mean, you'd connect them all together, uh, and that would be the other end of the pitch resistor. Huh. So, like... But wouldn't, I mean, <clears throat> in conjunction with like the beginning of your lecture, wouldn't it almost be easier to make each of those LEDs a Vectrol unto its own, own, own self, and then just... Actually, what Una has been doing recently, I think he, uh, he uses one LED, and each one of the transistors is going to change the the brightness of the LED, and you can use that Vactral as the, uh, yeah. you know, there's several ways to do it, right. basically, but uh, this is the way that, you know, that I started off with. This is the first breadboarded uh, uh, sequencer that I made, and, you know, this thing basically, uh, it, it's worked well for me. I don't know if I would, uh, I'll probably try the, the Vactral like, just because it's uh, a little more time, less time consuming. But yeah, basically one leg of the pitch resistor is connected to, you know, it's all on the same leg, or it's all on the same uh, connection, so you would have one end of the pitch resistor in the toy that you've yanked out, basically. Uh, so one end would be there, and then the other end would be that common tethered point, so that every time receives uh, a voltage, it'll both light it, and then it'll send the voltage to, to make the connection between that one resistor and the common connection. Well, yeah, it's right. not the easiest thing to explain for me, but uh, <laughs> don't let it uh, get to you. It's very, very simple stuff, and once you figure it out, then, you know, it, it kind of makes sense. Like, oh, I'm, if you figure out a pitch resistor, and how a pitch resistor works on a toy, and then you figure out how a 4017 works on a toy, then you have somebody explain to you how uh, these NPN transistors, once voltage is applied to them, they will connect the two outer legs. Um, and so you can think about it as a switch that way, and you know, that, uh, that switch is just, in essence just changing which pitch resistor is doing the resisting. Okay. Um. Do you want to like hook it all up and just like do a grand jam demo? Sure. We'll all dance. Mm, yes, yeah, so and we'll dance. So this thing doesn't make any noise. That's it. No. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? First of all. No. Perfect. I think the job is done.